pleased, and please join me in welcoming Marcy Zeroff, our keynote speaker. Good morning. So it's actually, um, to Susan's point, quite exciting to see the reaction in today's world. I mean, it was only a few years ago that when I said green, organic, and apparel in the same sentence, people looked at me like I was absolutely insane. Like, huh? Why would anybody care about that? You know, people are just starting to get into food and understand it better. But, you know, in the context of apparel, something you put on your body, it was this, you know, idea around nobody's ever going to buy into that, okay, maybe a bunch of hippies. And um, it's definitely come a very, very long way. And it's really exciting to see, and it's been an amazing journey along the way. So I'm here to wake you up today, this morning, uh, on a few different levels and uh, introduce you to why it's important to go green in your apparel company. Um, so just to give you a few minutes of my background and how I got into this, you know, it's funny, a lot of times people ask me um, my experience in the apparel world, and I said, it's funny, when I started, I really didn't even know the difference between a knit and a woven. Um, however, I got best dressed in high school. So that was sort of my uh, entree into this. Um, but I did spend, uh, I've been in the organic world for over 20 years, which of course means I started when I was two. And um, I, I started in the organic food and beauty world. And having worked with consumers, and this is after I went to business school, so I knew that um, I wanted to inspire change in the world through business and shift the paradigm of business. Of course, I wanted to make money. Um, but I also wanted to do the right thing. And so when I graduated from business school in California, I moved to New York and I started a school that did all health and environmental education. And we had a spa, an organic spa, which we uh, started with the founder of Aveda, for those of you who know Aveda, an organic cafe. And we were very active in the New York community, um, really garnering um, tens of thousands of people together to, to get into and introduce them to healthy living. And through the years, people started to evolve and, and ask questions, and fiber started to come up. Because if you think about it, there's two basic necessities in life, food and clothing. And so there was this natural evolution that once that seed got planted and people got exposed to um, that journey, eating healthier or maybe you know introducing other choices in their life, maybe eco-travel, that it would plant a seed, and that seed would grow. and, and they wanted to know what's next. So um, about 11 years ago, um, I sold the school in New York, which today is called the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. And I founded Under the Canopy, which is my current business, to really take all the information that I had learned over a decade from you know, working with consumers, understanding how to translate healthy living um, through food and beauty products, and take that same concept and apply it to apparel, which was quite a paradox. Um, of course, you know, apparel has always been very much about the surface and about the way you look and kind of the material world. And when you look at the organic world, it's always been, or the sustainability community, it's always been about changing the world, mission-driven, coming from a deeper place. So I, I always love a great challenge. So I sort of took that on, and uh, it's been very exciting. And, and I've proven to a lot of people that organic doesn't mean hemp, it doesn't mean, you know, the, the funny question I used to get all the time and people would ask it as if I've never heard it before, can you smoke it after you wear it? <laughs> so I was like, it's, uh, you know, if you look at what I'm wearing, I mean, this is all organic. So it doesn't have to be that way. So um, let me just take you through um, a little bit about Under the Canopy. Um, <clears throat> We uh, actually coined, or I coined the, and trademarked the term eco-fashion. For those of you who heard that term, it's kind of exciting to see it now being used worldwide to define the market, which is a fusion of ecology and fashion, to demonstrate that those two concepts do not have to be mutually exclusive. You don't have to choose between being socially and environmentally responsible or being fashion forward. You can actually be both. However, having said that, it took a lot of years of trailblazing and creating a market where fabrics could actually lend themselves to fashion. In the early years, we were very, very limited by the kinds of materials we had access to. So I traveled around the world and convinced a lot of farmers and mills to, you know, to believe in the concept that someday it would hit 
and clearly, as many of you know, and to see all of you in the audience today is testament to the fact that uh, it's on the radar now in the, in the fashion world. Um, Under the Canopy has worked with all kinds of organic fabrics from organic linen and organic wool to organic cotton blended with pretty much everything, angora, silk, tencel, lycra, bamboo, soy, seaweed, um, denim, we've done organic denim. Um, we have now a vertically integrated operation where, I'll speak to that a little more uh, later, but where we actually uh, work with farmers that um, not only are our factories fair trade certified, but our cotton is actually fair trade certified as well. And that's really the consumer is constantly evolving. This is a moving target. So, you know, as many of you are just entering this market, you know, keeping up with what's going on, and as you all know, global warming is another one of those big issues on the radar, and how do you incorporate that into the mix as well. Um, I'll speak a little more to our dye process, but everything that we do, we use low impact dyes, um, and we've partnered with a lot of leading environmental groups to get out there and tell the story, and again, it was a lot of years of telling that story and educating the consumer, because that's really what has created this market is telling the story and helping people understand why. This is just a sampling of under the canopy uh, apparel. Our philosophy has always been to give consumers first and foremost style, quality, fit, color, great hand, um, price, value, and all the things they're looking for. And then the organic becomes a value added benefit that sets us apart. It's not about selling it on the fact that it's organic necessarily. It's about we're giving you everything that you want and more so that we're not really taking something away from the consumer. We're giving them an added value. And that's today's world where, as you all know, apparel is highly competitive. Um, and a lot of people are making their products in the same factories and you sort of get bored, same old, same old. The consumer is really looking for something that they can stand behind, but they don't want to give up anything to get that. This is a sampling of our home line. We actually, as a company, um, are pretty split. We have um, an entire home division where we do organic cotton sheets, towels, home products, loungewear, and spa products, as well as uh, organic apparel for women and children. So, just starting with kind of a 101, a lot of people don't really even know what the term green really means. So um, green is, is, stands for any product or service that has the planet in mind, that is socially and environmentally responsible. In today's world, though, it's really confusing. I mean, I know as an example, Home Depot put out a, a notice saying they wanted all their vendors to submit how they were participating in the green movement because they want to make a big shift towards you know, their eco options and doing the right thing, and they got 70,000 responses. Uh, this was an article in the New York Times talking about, you know, everybody thinks their product is green in some way or another. So you really have to, you know, weed through all this information to figure out, you know, what does that really mean? Um, and, and it can mean anything from, you know, decreasing your packaging to um, energy efficiency to reducing toxic emissions and pollution. And in the case of organics, um, organics is actually a scientific method of agriculture that is based on um, the crops being rotated together where there is absolutely no use of chemical pesticides, insecticides, herbicides. Um, it's all about building the soil versus depleting the soil and it's sustainable method of agriculture. So what does sustainability mean? It means giving, not just taking. Creating something that can exist in the long term. So um, organic agriculture is about building the soil which ultimately builds the crops, which ultimately as the plants get stronger, they naturally become more resistant to bugs. The same way that our bodies, if you eat really healthy, and you work out and you're conscious about your state of health, your immune system will likely be stronger, which will make you less resistant or more resistant to getting illness or getting disease. So, um, you know, the idea here is building something that we can leave to our children for future generations. Some of the, the benefits of